Hello and welcome everyone to Almus Market Mornings, your daily dose of global financial updates. Uh, now we start a new week, but with not so new narratives which have been going on in the market. There seems to be some softness in the stories of the dollar bulls and somewhat of a weakness in the euro parity story. Uh, whether it is temporary, whether it is permanent, time will definitely tell. But what we can do is assess with our market experts the strength in, in such narratives. Uh, morning, JK, we have been observing, of course, some dollar softness, some strength in euro, GBP. In fact, even yen saw some correction, while it seems that the gold is finally picking up. Uh, what is your sense of these narratives? Are these temporary? Are these permanent? Uh, or are they going to last for some more time? Uh, take us through your views. Yeah, good morning. Uh, so I would uh, tend to call it as a period of consolidation across markets uh, because uh, there, technically there is no clear uh, you know, clarity that uh, markets have reversed. Uh, but definitely, after the ECB move uh, last week, dollar has uh, found a strong resistance uh, above 108. Euro has uh, been getting good support at 1.01. Uh, similarly, Euros, Euro being considered as a bellwether currency, other currencies are also finding support at lower levels. This, I, I, I think suddenly the uh, big story for uh, dollar continuing to strengthen uh, has diminished. Like yields, for example, were uh, low, uh, falling big time on Friday. And that uh, followed a series of uh, weak economic data from US. And uh, of course, uh, even the Euro European data was also weak. But all these days, uh, be it a, a negative Euro story or a positive Euro, uh, positive dollar story, Dollar was, dollar was getting bought, that bias is slightly uh, neutralized right now. So I'm I'm seeing market is in a profit taking mode as far as the dollar longs are concerned. Uh, on the even on the uh, equity short side also there is some profit taking that's uh, going on. Uh, but uh, the core issues, uh, be it uh, dollar against euro or dollar against INR. Uh, have not vanished. So European energy crisis is the biggest thing. And there is nothing that shows that it has been addressed. Similarly, for USDINR, it is the trade deficit and which leads into a higher current account deficit and the BOP deficit for the year after several years is something that we have to meet. Uh, that's Those core issues will ensure that uh, the trend is not changing so easily, but definitely uh, there is some consolidation and profit taking by either place. Let me also point out that, you know, from middle of July or rather towards the end of July till September first week, uh, it's a vacation period in the Western world and uh, people do tend to lighten up their positions. I'm sure markets have been running long positions in the dollar and short positions in the stocks and those have been kind of, you know, profit taking is happening. So this... Uh, don't read too much into this as a change of direction for uh, anything. But that said, uh, if you look at uh, stocks, uh, there have been uh, you know, conflicting factors. Uh, there is a fear of recession at the same time. We uh, uh, Rates are going up. Uh, and some uh, companies have actually posted better than expected results. So the, it's kind of muddle there. So uh, can't read much into it. So I think this kind of messy consolidation will continue. Uh, then we have uh, the bond market where uh, people have started to feel that uh, if recession is, you know, uh, more probability, better to buy bonds and uh, not to buy too much of stocks. Uh, that is how the investors, or I think market is still having enough liquidity and they have been lightly positioned off late in the bonds. So there is a bit of buying in the bonds, therefore the yields are coming down. Then uh, uh, that's about the stocks. And as far as the currency is concerned, the European move last week actually restored a lot of credibility to the ECB's uh, inflation fighting credit, uh, inflation uh, fighting. So. Uh, that has actually supported the euro market feels that uh, uh, though not speaking so loudly about the currencies, uh, the move by ECB uh, to take strong 
monetary tightening measure as well as to devise a tool for addressing the uh, bond yields of uh, the uh, weak, weaker countries. Uh, ECB has sent a strong message that uh, you know not only are they going to fight inflation, but also uh, take care of the currency, which is you know which is a very important aspect aspect of the European integration. So market has taken note of these. So I, I, I that's one factor. Similarly, dollar yen. Uh, they have been uh, talking about a weekend, uh, not good for the, uh, too much of weakness in there, not good for the economy. And also it is adding to their inflation, their inflation projection is higher than what the market has been expecting. So there is a bit of uh, come down in the dollar yen as well. So it's a consolidative period. Uh, it's not a trend change. Even in USDINR, some factors are working for the USDINR, like uh, uh, the dollar index, which I've already told, some sort of uh, correction going on there. And then uh, Brent or the even the crude oil uh, correcting, you know, not not really uh, making headway above 105. Now, again, trying to come down after uh, the series of uh, weak data and the fears of recession uh, that's playing the, in the minds of the players there. So that's helping the rupee as well. And last week, out of five five days, Four days were positive FIA numbers, though not big, but it's a kind of sentiment. So uh, that's helping the rupee. So overall, I'm saying uh, the factors which are keeping the market in a consolidation is going to keep the market in a consolidation because we also have big events coming up. We have EFO Germany today. Uh, then we have uh, uh, FOMC meeting day after tomorrow, uh, 0.75 well discounted. Uh, then we have the PC core inflation also, uh, we have uh, the GDP number from US. Uh, last quarter was a negative growth and the uh, market will be very keen to see where the US economy is headed. Uh, so look out for the data. Uh, I think it's short-term range trading time for the market uh, after seeing big trendy moves. Uh, so that's where we start the week. Yes, we will have some choppy moves. Uh, uh, let's, this is a time to, wait for some clear direction to emerge. That's what I'm seeing the market. Okay, uh, thank you, JK. And uh, one of the very interesting terms that you mentioned, uh, messy consolidation. Of course, we have got a lot of uh, upcoming data, GDP numbers, FOMC meeting also. Uh, so such such moves can, uh, such stories can change very quickly. Uh, I mean, Euro did find some strength, but you know, any update can quickly reverse it or in fact, add on to the current move. Uh, so it's important that we keep managing our risk, uh, guys. So if you're looking for somebody to manage your risk, uh, we here at Alba Spiro Risk Consulting are always available. Uh, that's it from our end. Uh, we'll see you all tomorrow with uh, fresh updates. Thank you.